born in Nassau, Bahamas on September 23, 1920, Gwendolyn Mercedes Joy Minns. Her mother was Ivy Depuch Minns, sister of Leon Depuch, who was the father of Sir Edian Depuch and founder of the Tribune newspaper. Gwendolyn's father was Samuel Leopold Dunlop Minns, a jeweler. Her story began on the west corner of Camp Road and Shirley Street. She had a number of siblings including brothers Jack, Kenneth, Bert, Leon, Sammy, and two sisters Esther and Ruth. Esther was the Fox Hill gal in the song, I want a Fox Hill gal when I get married. The song was written by Eric Minns, Esther's son, and given to King Eric. Unfortunately, her other sister, Ruth Minns, died an untimely death in 1948 at 30 years old. Some say she committed suicide and others believe she was murdered. Gwendolyn was hardworking and multi-talented. She was a school teacher at the Sacred Heart Catholic School across the street from St. Matthew's Church. Then she became a secretary and went to work at Texaco for Mr. Malcolm. She was also a night switchboard operator at the Princess Margaret Hospital. She married her first husband on the 21st day of March, 1942. His name was Kiplin Pinder from Taylor Street. He was a mechanic and also a saxophone player at the Old Silver Slipper. After he passed, she married Harold Jean Fountain on the 29th day of July, 1945. Gwendolyn had three children, Rudyard Kipling Pinder, Margot Mercedes Joy, and Jean Vincent Dunlop Sparky Fountain. Gwendolyn was very instrumental in helping Gus Cooper to get the Valley Boys group established. As young boys in the Centerville area, when Gus Cooper and the crew decided that they wanted to break away from a man named Spurgeon Smith, Gus asked Gwendolyn's son, Rudyard, to find out if Gwendolyn, whom they called Aunt Gwenny, would ask her boss, Mr. Malcolm, to sponsor them. She was successful, and in 1958, they got the supplies they needed, including a box of cowbells and a box of whistles. Mr. Malcolm used to sell the bells to farmers who had cows. Mr. Malcolm also rushed in John Canoe. And back then, many Bahamian whites rushed on Bay Street. There were no Saxons back then. There was Spurgeon Smith's Punch Bowl and another group called East Bay, and there was Chippy. The Valley Boys were started as a junior group in Gus Cooper's father's garage through Tenwich Street off Mount Royal Avenue. The yellow and white building is still there. In 1958, Gwendolyn's son, Gene Fountain, better known as Sparky, went out with the Valley Boys at seven years old because he couldn't stay home at night. His mother worked at PMH as a switchboard operator and she worked in the day. So he would go with his brother and the other members of the group to rush on Bay Street. The original Valley Boys and Girls included Gwendolyn, known as Angwenny Fountain, Gunga Cooper, Deidre Cooper, Winston Gus Cooper, Kippy Pinder, Lenny Taylor, Gully Enius, Philip Box Fountain, Vince Sparky Fountain, Edward Fitzgerald, Dianza Burroughs, Doyle Burroughs, George Gala Wilson, Bervin, Perry Christie, Freddie Buck Fountain, Roy Fountain, and many others. Gwendolyn died December 12, 1966. She is buried in the Western Cemetery, but will never be forgotten. It was because of the kind assistance of Gwendolyn Mercedes Joy Minns Fountain that Mr. Malcolm came to the aid of and was instrumental in the inception of the Valley Boys Jankunu group. Aunt Gwenny will forever be part of the great beginnings of a group that came out of and lives in the heart of the valley.